Hey guys, what's up? It's Lisa from tocreativewebsite.com and I'm excited about this video. I think a lot of you will be inspired by this and you'll get some ideas. I'm going to teach you how to take your ebooks to the next level and create an attractive ebook with a nice design that I think is relevant for how we like to consume content today. People don't like reading a lot of words on pages anymore. They like larger fonts, less text, nice looking images, and why shouldn't our ebooks look like this? This is certainly going to change the way I create my ebooks, especially the smaller ones. So let's get to it. Now I'm using PowerPoint 2010. I'm sure you can use other versions. You can also use Keynote if you're a Mac person, probably a lot of similarities in terms of what you can do. Obviously the menu options are going to be different, but you know, same concept. I went to file new, and we're going to start with a blank presentation because the idea is I want you to literally design the format or the style of your ebook. Let's click blank presentation and I want to get rid of these guys. So I'm going to right click, cut, right click, cut. So now we've got a blank slate. First thing we're going to do is design our background. So you right click your mouse and click format background. And you can see here that you have several different options. You can do a solid fill, which is like a solid color, the gradient fill where you go from one color to the other. So you start by selecting your first color stop and then you can click whatever color you want and notice it now goes from orange to blue. So you get the idea. You can do a picture. PowerPoint has some existing textures you can use or you can upload, whoops, I didn't mean to click that. You can also upload your own picture. And I'm going to show you a cool tip later on in this video with using your own pictures. You can do a pattern. And with the patterns, you can change the colors of the pattern by simply changing the foreground color. So if you want the pattern to be purple, you just click that. So a lot of cool things you can do. We're just going to do a solid color. And I'm going to select black. And I'm going to click close. Now, for this ebook we're creating, let's pretend you have a health and fitness site or whatever, and you're doing an ebook with 15 ways to be healthier or something like that. So, the right side of this ebook is going to have like the title for every tip, and then the main content is going to be over here. So, let's create a section for the title of each tip or each slide. So, I'm going to go over here to insert shapes rectangle. So I'm going to come up here to the edge of the slide over here on the right, click and hold, drag all the way to the end and the bottom and release. Now I don't want it to be blue because I'm thinking healthy eating. I think green. So I'm going to right click format shape. I'm going to change the fill color to green. Click close. And now I'm going to create a container for the main tip area. So let's go back to shape insert shapes. This time I want to use snip diagonal corner rectangle. So I'm going to click it, click and drag, boom, right click, format shape. I want the fill to be white and I want the line color to actually be orange. And if I want to increase the size of the border or the line, I can come up here to line style increase this notice the border increasing around the box behind here and then click OK. So this is where our tips are going to go. And then down here we want to put our website. So let's go to insert. Hopefully you guys can see the possibilities here. You can do so much. Let's choose the rounded rectangle and we're going to click and drag. And this is where our site's going to go. Right click format shape. Let's actually make this orange, match that same orange around here. So now we have our containers. So what we have to do now is add our text. And I'm also going to add a photo of the author to make it more personal. So let's add the text for our website. We're going to go to insert text box, click www.yoursite.com. Let's do the same thing for our slide title. We're going to go to insert. Let's do word art. I'm going to choose this one's kind of like some raised text. Let's move this over here. I want to get rid of this your text here. And we just want this to say tip 
one. And if you want to increase the font size, you're just going to control A, right click, font. Let's make it 80. OK. So now we can just click and drag and move that up. So we're good there. And so now let's add a picture of the author. So let's pretend this is the owner of the site and the ebook. Honestly, I just chose him because he's kind of cute. <laughs> so I'm going to go over here in Photoshop and grab the magic eraser tool because I want to get rid of this white background because I don't want this white box behind him. It's not going to look right. So I'm just going to click a couple times to get rid of this background. Okay, so now that I'm done, I'm going to just save this really quickly. And because of the magic of video, when you see the next screen, it's already going to be saved. Boom. Magic. Okay, so let's insert him into our slide. We're going to go to insert picture. There he is. So let's grab the handle because he's obviously too big. And I'm going to drag the right corner here. So he's a little smaller. And because he's unfortunately missing his left arm, I think it will look best to align him over here. Now, honestly, because of this black background, it doesn't look ideal. He kind of looks like a floating head. So I would probably change that, but you guys get the idea. Fortunately, he's got this line here to show his right arm, so it's not too bad. So there he is. And right away, you guys, doesn't that look very personal? Love it. Okay, so now you're ready. All you have to do is save this as a template. And the reason why you might want to do this is let's say you're going to create four or five different ebooks and they're all going to have the same design. Maybe you're just going to change like the green color here and the orange color down here, but they're all going to have the same design. This box, your picture, and so you just save the template. So you're going to go to File, Save As, and you're going to choose PowerPoint Template. And you're going to save it as a .potx file. So now you can open up this template anytime you want to create a new book. So the next thing we're going to want to do is just put our text in here. So let's just go to insert text. And let's just say our first tip is eat leafy green. And you can't see it because the text is probably white. So we're going to do control A, right click, font. Yep, it sure is. So let's make the text black. And we're going to make it 70. Perfect. So now we can kind of move it around, get it how we want it. That's it. So now when you create your second tip, you just right click the slide over here, click duplicate slide. Bam. You can select the slide here and then just change this to tip two. And then you just change your text. You gotta love it. Now here's the easy part. You want to turn this into a PDF or an ebook? No problem. Just go to File, Save and Send, Create PDF, click it again, Presentation for PDF. I'll just put that on my desktop. And there is our ebook. There's tip one, there's tip two. Now I want to show you a really cool trick for your tip container. Let's say you want all of your tips to be on a post-it note. So what I've done is I found a picture of corkboard and a post-it note, and I just merged them together really quickly in Photoshop and I created this image. So let's get rid of this, right click, cut. So I'm gonna right click my background, and click format background, and I'm gonna go to picture, file, Okay, so here's the post-it. Now you notice that it's a little off-centered. So you can play around with these offset values here. I'm going to increase this right offset. Now notice it's getting a little distorted, but that's okay because I'm going to come over to the left and decrease that as well, and it's getting back into proportion. So that looks about right. So when it looks how you want it, you click Close. Now you guys get where I'm going. So you just grab your text box, click, eat leafy green vegetables. And with the magic of video, I'm just gonna format this really quickly. Bam, you've got your tip. So each tip can be on a post-it note. Now I'll admit this doesn't look its best down here, but this was me just merging these two images together. This was really made to be put on a white background, not a corkboard background, but 
again, you guys get what I'm trying to do here. I think this would look better green because of the cork board is kind of blending in. So let's go to format shape, color. Yeah, that looks better. So that's it guys. Now you can wow your visitors by creating these amazing looking eBooks. I personally think this is best for shorter eBooks because you have to remember a lot of people like to print eBooks. If you do something like this with a lot of color, then you're going to run out people's printer ink. <laughs> you don't want people mad at you because you'll be using up their ink, right? <laughs> I would probably just do this for smaller eBooks, like, you know, 15, 20 tips or 15, 20 pages or something like this. I think with shorter eBooks, people are more likely to just read them on their computer than print them off. So if you wanted to do a longer book that people may print, then you would just use less color. But I think this is a really, really great way to design an eBook in today's visual world where we like bigger fonts, pictures, you know, it looks high quality. And this is much more fun to read than, you know, 500 words on a page and you have nothing but text. I like this strategy. Now I can't take credit for this. I actually got the idea from Derek Halpern of Social Triggers. If you follow his blog, you probably saw this PDF that he put out recently. And I'll link to this in the description because you really should download it. It's some really, really good information here. But he used this strategy. First, he uploaded his presentation to SlideShare and he embedded the presentation into his site and then he turned it into a PDF. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it inspired you to try some new things with your eBooks. So have fun, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye.